Okay, and we'll put out crack at real time once again. Let's talk. Oh, I'm gonna stop talking about that week, but who I thought back at the end. <laughs> anyway, cool. For today, we have Terry Lincoln Tiara, uh, written by M.A. Larkin, with story by the creator and M.A. Larkin. To put that out. Okay, this one should be cool. somewhat quick because, uh, the ones that I've done for a template gone already are intended to take will probably be a little shorter because I've had them thought out more because I watch them a little more often. Anyway, in the couple code, Joey begged Bike to uh, let her compete in the dog real dog show reality thing in town or Terry and Tiara and and they um start they, they bike to get quite up on it until she you know this woman who was basically the star of the whole, but one of the moms who was basically a gigantic bitch and bike gets so kicked around she wants to go you to beat her and she gets so wrapped up in it she gets a little cranky and things kind of echoed from there. Okay, so, plenty of shows do we go up and go talk about how Patrick Wright moves and I love coming out because I kind of agree, well, at least come to the type, but a pet or a toddler type, you're the one that I would probably be talking about. No, oh, I don't think I need to explain why. I'm not a great big fan. I mean, normal pet and stuff like that, like one for all, whatever, at their business, we can do anything like that. But like the kid, the pet one, especially with type of here, it's like the type that I'll be talking about here. Yeah, but I don't know why, but a lot of shows that do, do this don't quite. They're yeah, mostly you guys are crocheted, but you not quite getting out of nitty gritty on why they're all one thing ever. And they can kind of actually done that. You know, like, yeah, they, for one, they just show what kind of content they can do to people. And I mean, that can be done. And I thought, definitely done better here than a lot of shows we tend to do. And maybe it's because it's funny, you know, or it's more interesting to keep going with a corner by showing out even going like by. Can you know get wrapped up in it? And I've mentioned before, I think the help I like, can get you know, like especially early on where you know, a little picture laugh and then I got her play too, where she don't get real you know, intent because you know, and I got put down with her being camera shy, which is also show I believe in going to sneak a dance. Another rally show ish up going by me Larkin, by the way, I got a bone to pick. Um, so. It's interesting to show you from the camera side and the knife can get like this. And what is interesting about she doesn't have a call regal Rican. She wants to take care of someone who can actually miss, which she should have realized she got some care, you know. But of course, it doesn't kind of help the other pet kind of rebel <laughs> near the end. Um, no, grinding slightly of that, but I look good, you know, growing area, which. I think I think that element would make that one okay, you know, kind of boring. But this one way better. <laughs> oh, we got one definitely better version of that. We got more joke for one. Um, <laughs> you know. Oh, great! Don't even interrupt because that actually kind of, which I'm gonna kind of buy that. Actually, why I like it because they kind of show. You know, I think that contact can kind of ring the wall. I think the thing that I kind of wrong is we're not the kind of guy to get pinned up at Woodward usually. Well, here it makes a lot more again. Okay, when it happened. Yeah, but we had gone pinned up at Woodward a couple of times and played them off at hand. But, you know, semantic. Um. And that could kind of make much more work because you want to be Juju Joe taken down and Juju Joe brought out. She and. You know, her name kind of, kind of like, or Judy Joe Jameson, mm, JJ Jameson, but then she talked more like Mr. Max, <laughs> she goes, mm, K, a lot, and she gets a bitch, but it is funny, and she got the, it into, I found get more development, and she get put, for the few times when she get the fucking story, who turned out to be a dude, yeah, no comment there, um, <laughs> uh, um, you yeah. know, and I think the most fun part is when you buy transformed into the pageant model because she does get no funny line and she gets no transformed into a different character that comes really interesting. And she kind of like got with that pretty much, which is even funnier. Um, 
and it's kind of interesting how she like fully transformed, You're completely unaware of it. Like, Gold called her out, and she doesn't like, realize it because she's that far down the gravity hole. Which, you know, might be a little off, but in the context, I can kind of see why she get go into it. Even if Gold called her on it, she like can't think straight, and she had to watch a video of her like doing this, but they recorded come out. That, well, being part of a the show, they're backstage. I don't know why they do that, but anyway, um, they can realize, oh crap. I've gone too far, and they definitely do that, but showing like how bad these sort of things are at, like how Judy Jo at going been doing that their whole life and seen the worst, and how other, like, and the one guy, like, the military dog, who, by the way, he voiced my Samuel, and a dog named Samuel, <laughs> oh, and Judy Jo voiced my Kathy Whitmark, which is amazing, um, I, I, Pope Philip of Five Voice by going to Tring, but I didn't do that name. Um, yeah, uh, well, okay. Um, but then kind of, yeah, they kind of show the effect we kind of gone. Yeah, you know, especially in the contact. So I do think it gets to the gritty on why that bad. It kind of wasn't, but it, like I think most people can agree. And and the thing about the Captain Corvette, while well, it's funny, it came in a certain way where humor derived from. Y you know, it's, I mean, it's for to to derived from the reaction, you know, but near the second half, the vehicle could derive from being from a life or just go over the top and go, you try to go humor might come from the concept more than a favorite joke, so get that kind of story ramping up, yeah, like what kind of fun can it come from, so if that, if you just don't find that kind of that meaning, then the kind might be on the boring side, aside from, and that's kind of why I like it. I kind of come over like how I like it. Even I like it. I mean, it got you like the top of like the show, like in general, low on that list, to mind you. But there, she close to the bottom, I think, uh, of the top. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, um, yeah, and you were gonna get that because yeah, it's entertaining, but it's not immediately funny. I watched it because just you know, the pageant rather than anything. I'm watching it again. I enjoy it a lot more. I believe I would like. I could do that story called Looking for Entertainment at the time, and I found it a good funny part, especially in that. And I think I got the funny part, including the ending where Russell wins. We'll go from there, he's beautiful! Um, not a ton of. The other pack, um, Russell and Mika get a few lines, but that get, they're there, but they don't do anything until like the very end. I think the other pack, they like. Up here, but okay, anything. It's just fine. It can go up and go to the country. It's good. Um, but well, okay. Because, like, that kind of the whole thing I've got to go to. Like, and if you know all the stuff in the United States, you know, I can yeah, find it interesting. But, you know, I think, mean, well, even over in the kind of thing, will probably find something to enjoy, whether it be, you know, like the ending joke or life coming out with Jack combined with a bitch go. I do think it's fun to see what's going on, but it's in, but most interesting to see the effect. Do only see how Blight can be affected by that kind of thing, and how it affects like everyone. And, you know, we can able to get it, get it totally, truly in kind the of content. I don't think anyone can able to do that stuff actually happened, you know? Again, if it's in content, I'm not type movie show that can be not the worst, but this type. The, the, the four talk take the guy's like, chance. I mean, look at title, get what like, shot at. You know, shot at one of the worst things ever created. Aquino Tonic and TR and Co. Very, very fitting. So, yeah, I think that's what I got. I really like one because of how it gets down to that. Now it is fun. It can drink things. You know, not, well, it's not like top five material because, again, I think they're funnier, I think they're a bit more compelling and more original. But it gets a testament to showing, you know, Blythe, you know, uh, elements and how a show can, you know, get to the ingredient why you face something bad. Go, um, Nair and Terry and Tiara. That's for next week. Well, next week happens to be where my pony will push up and start back up again, which makes me the guy picking coming out for next Saturday. Uh, from MLP, the premiere, um, it's called The Crust Darling, which starts everything from where you left off. Go. That should be fun, and I will probably do. That probably comes up for a couple of do well before the little patch on, depending. I'm with the episode of the one part of the five. Oh, I'm going to play one part of the conference. Yeah, okay. But, um, 
depending on how depending on how things go. Um, but Pet Shop is two episodes called Steam and Two Peas in a Podcast. I love that title, and uh, the latter I'm definitely looking forward to, especially. So that does be all fun. But after next pack of the log, I can remember the original plan to have it on Monday, but that around the same time they started stopped airing the new episode that I had to do on Saturday. But now we're going back to Monday. Now, we're not starting the following Monday, because I just did a quick vlog now, because I'd be old kill. But the Monday after next Saturday, that's when we start back up. So March 28th is the next collective vlog. And, you know, I have a phone in order to pick it out, because I'm picking out myself for a special reason. Because that's when I feel like, well, I'll tell you on that day, but a special reason I'm picking this episode for that day, but that episode shall be Blank Crush. You'll find out why then, if you can't. The part didn't but yeah, you know, either way, we'll be talking that going on March 28th. But next Saturday, my pony pet shop return. It'll be right after I will have seen Batman v Superman, so it's gonna be a great weekend for everyone. Well, for me, if I like the movie, that better, that'd be good. But either way, the point I'll go if I would go either way. March 28th, by crush next week, stuff, stuff, stuff. See you then.